what is going on everyone all right so today i'll be working on my 2003 mazda protege 5 um but it is converted into the speed which has the 2.0 turbo engine tranny ecu everything um and one of the issues i'm having is the shifter has a lot of play on it you don't have to remove the center console i'm just removing it just because um i had to adjust the e-brake and i want to vacuum everything and clean everything but right now it's in first gear as you can see it moves has a lot of play second gear and it does the same thing in every single gear um which the shifter bushings are actually on the bottom of the car that's why i got a cardboard box under here because i'm gonna get under and get the shift linkage out it's not a diy but i am going to kind of show you uh the shift linkage when it's out and show you the bushings and kind of like what you got to do but all right guys stay tuned and i'll get back to it all right guys sorry for the quality and if you can hear the plane i apologize i live right by the airport close to it um as you can see that's where the shifter is let's see if i can get it to focus all right how much play sideways This one here, it's like a rivet, and there's no way to take it out unless you cut through here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to cut right here, right there, push the pin out, and that would be it. So I'm gonna get to it, I'm gonna take this out, come right here, the bolt right here, and this bolt right there take that out and then I'll show you once it's out all right guys all right guys so these are the bushings I am using XL Auto Works um, comes with three well when you go on their website it's gonna ask you I believe is if you want the three or two something like that I ordered all of them um, as you can see all right so this one goes towards the transmission side which it would be here which it goes on this side this one goes on the on the shifter itself which is the gearbox right so I'm guessing the little one right here if I could get it out the little one will go here with that one then I'm guessing one of these goes over here, right here, which you have to, see how this is not a bolt, it's like a rivet. You gotta break that rivet. I would say cut it right here, here, and just hit it out. Then you put that one on there, and then this one will go on the other side. This one will be for this side. Once I cut this, I will be installing them and I'll show you guys when I'm about to install them. Alright guys, so I was able to cut it. I couldn't record it because I only got two hands um, and I had to focus on this. So it's cut there. All I did was it was like that. Well, actually, yeah, it was like that on this side like this. And all I did was cut the right part which it would be this section here now all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit this one out and that should be it all right guys so where i left off was that i was going to pretty much after i cut it cut this side i pulled the rest out but then over here there was part of it here so what i tried to do was I put something through here to hit it out, right? But then this part was bending out. 
So what we had to do was we gave it some heat. My pops actually helped me out for this. Uh, gave it some heat. But we started hitting it out to weaken the rivet so that way it can come off. Then after it came off, all I did was put the flathead right here, just hit it out, and that's it. Um, so I would say it's easier if you guys, um, let's put it this way, if you guys uh, grab um, a drill and just drill right through the middle and keep making the size of the drill bit a little bit bigger so you'll weaken the rivet and then you pop the rivet out with a flathead or something on the side and it comes right off. I think it's much easier than the way I was trying to do it. All right guys, so it's already installed. I'm gonna try to move it with my hand. There is no type of movement at all. Pushing it back and forth and sideways, there's nothing. Same over here. There is no movement at all. I just gotta bolt this back up and we should be good to go. Just got done. Um, one of the things that I did notice is do not over tighten the bolts because then your shifter will not move. They can't be fully, fully tightened. You have to let them loose just a little bit so that way your shifter can be able to move back and forth, if you get what I'm saying. So that way it can move the linkage back and forth. Because I, by accident, I over tightened them, not thinking straight. And when I went to go check it I couldn't even move the gears at all so right now I'm loosening them a little bit let's see how it is right now is a neutral I could feel it's a lot more sturdy more firm first gear wow huge difference does not move all the way down here second Third, fourth, fifth, six. No, I'm just kidding. Reverse. I wish this was six gear. <laughs> but way better for sure. All right. So yeah guys, that's about it. Um, just, uh, it is a process, it does take a while. You will get super greasy, dirty. Um, but patience is key, as long as you take your time, you do it right, um, you should be good and you shouldn't have any issues at all. But other than that guys, I'll see you guys later. And have fun if you're guys going to end up doing this. Peace.